All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here. We are at a destructive wake, which is which is the brand new uh, portal for the seasonal theme in Diablo 3. Okay, they randomly appear from killing any monsters in the game. So we're going to go in and we are going to check out what this portal has to all uh, offer. Ascension ritual, investigate at the altar. But we're going to uh, we're going to go in and check this out, man. So let's see. So it acts as just like a a normal portal, I'm guessing. There's a lot of strong, strong elite monsters in here. It makes me really scared. Okay, another portal. Another portal just uh, appeared. Makes it insane. Can I please move and not be slow? That'd be great. Okay, we're killing everything. Nice. So that, that portal is going to take us deeper into the new seasonal theme. I kind of want to kill all this stuff first. And just see here, we got some death breaths. And I am frozen. Or at least I got frozen. We're only 57 at the moment. Which is actually pretty sick. So I don't know how short or how long these take. Let's take a look. Okay, so it looks like they're very, very short levels. And then you're going to go through the next um, portal, fond memory, memory, to the next spot. So that takes you back. This kills more stuff. Let's go through. Okay. From what I understand about the seasonal theme is that these monsters have affixes on them. But I could be could be wrong about, about that inside here. It's kind of hard to tell if they do or not. I'm not entirely sure. But this is pretty gnarly. Now, keep in mind, guys, that we're only level 57. So you don't, in fact, have to be level 70 to, to have the portals be found. They just get found by killing monsters randomly. So it's, it's a really nice surprise when you get them. So look at that. We got another portal going to the next level. So let's kill everything on each level first before advancing. And let's just see. So again, like on the map, you can see it's a much, it's a much smaller map. Or what it's doing is just taking parts of a map and just going through and making it. We got this rare depth focus, which is kind of cool. So let's go down to the occult catacombs and go to the next level. Let's see what we got. Okay. So I wonder how many of these we actually go through. Okay, we got another portal already. I wonder if it's 5, 10. Like, how many is it until we go through? I want to make sure that I'm clearing every single level to make sure I don't miss anything. We got a Lego to drop back there. Yep, it dead ends over here. Now, notice that in these levels, we're also not getting any kill streak bonuses. Um, we're not getting any of that, which is interesting to say the least here. Um, I can't tell if it, it says leech, freeze, minion wall. I don't. Dang, I just got frozen and smashed. Revive a corpse. That'll be great for the video. I'm not sure. I think resource leech. Okay, so the elites have it. So all my resource is gone. Okay, so he's got it. Resource leech minion. And it looks like if anything that they do hit you is taking everything away. So any of their abilities, any of that stuff, hence the name resource leech. Okay, so he's dead now. Uh, Don't need, don't need. We got these let's go ahead and check these out the arcane is always a big problem we got boots let's check these out firewalker boots very cool very very cool we'll throw those on and now we'll go down into the necropolis which looks like it's the next one I'm trying to make sure that i'm like looking at, okay, so this is portal number four. Okay, this is portal number four. I wonder if we end in a boss of some kind. No, we got another one. Holy crap, dude, is this never ending? There's gotta be an end to it. There, there just has to be, right? 
Okay, so electrified, frozen. That's nice. Okay. Five and then the boss, possibly. This this would be going to our fifth one. So this will take us down. Let's clear it, though. Let's clear it. Let's make sure there's nothing else here. Some other monsters. So far, it looks like it's just monsters that you're actively fighting. I'm not sure if there's any reason to clear everything on every single level if the only thing that we're fighting is monsters itself. Um... Let's go down here to this corner and just make sure that this is blocked off. Yep. Okay. So now we're going through the fifth portal, guys. Possibly height. Oh, we got a goblin. Super cool. Get our defenses up here. Spend our chakrams. Plague health link. Uh, and I'm going to die because I'm completely frozen in the corner. Revive a corpse. There's a lot of stats going on right now. Let's not, let's get crazy. Trying to stay back, dodging every affix known to man. Holy crap. Absolutely insane here. Okay, looks like we're on the last Blood Clan member. Back up, bro. Nice, all dead. We got the goblin. Very nice. Dominate massacre. So we got a massacre bonus on this one. But not the other ones. Very interesting. Very interesting just to say the least here. We're going to check all this gear. Uh, we're we're going to keep Nemesis Bracers on. Okay, so let's move down. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a chest here. We open up the big, big chest. We get some resources. Looks like bounty resources. Um, I'm imagining that was for completing the goblin. So we're surviving that. So we got some angel flesh. Looks like all of our normal bounty mats. Some other mats, some gems. A, a greater rift keystone. You get a greater rift keystone out of it. That's very nice. Okay, some more death's breaths. And that's it. So we get five portals of the brand new instance in Diablo 4. Excuse me, Diablo 3. I've been playing Diablo 4 way too much. So it looks like you get five total portals of the brand new instance or seasonal theme for season 29 of Diablo 3. Uh, that's the history of the cube, which we already know. And once you're going through all the portals at the end, you're going to have monsters that you fight. And there's a goblin. Once you defeat all those monsters, you're going to be able to get a chest. And then there's a timer that goes down to kick you out after completing everything. So it's actually kind of cool to uh, see what the new seasonal theme is. Um, fighting monsters like first impression, it's pretty, pretty cool to be able to go through each portal. We get the different uh, monster affixes, which was shown in the patch notes for the PTR. And it looks like going through through each of those levels that each of the monster mobs, uh, it's random which affixes they get. If you guys don't remember what the affixes are, you got the PTR here. If my computer will stop acting up. And you come down and you have uh, some affixes here. The uh, Enervating, we got the Necrotic, and then Resource Leech, which sucks. Necrotic seemed okay, and then a nerve just... That one didn't seem as bad. These two didn't seem as bad. It was the resource leech that was the absolute worst. Um, but it's really, really cool, I think. So five portals you go through. You get a bunch of XP. You get a chest with a bunch of items, um, resources, uh, and just you get a greater rift keystone, which is pretty cool. So it's it's not bad considering how big Season 28 was for Diablo 3. This is the last season, so it's kind of just, you know, just something cool to end on once we go into Season 30, which is going to have the Altar of Rights back permanently. And then we'll have all the new seasonal stuff. So, first impressions, pretty, pretty cool. I don't think it's bad at all. It's kind of unique and interesting just to see the affixes on the monsters. It makes it a little bit more challenging. Kind of cool. And I'm actually really glad that we got to do it at 58 so you guys can kind of see the difficulty. Because once you get to 70, you get your sets and all that stuff. It's kind of insane. So, uh, yeah. 
Kind of cool, guys. Like the video. Comment down below. What do you guys think about the new portals and the seasonal theme for Season 29 in Diablo 3? If you're still playing, subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, stay gaming, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.